Welcome to the show, Urban Artificial Intelligence, Strategic Thinking Media Platform. Got some crazy uh, news for y'all tonight, man. An Atlanta legend, one of my favorite artists, man, for a long time. When I was doing the rap thing, this is somebody that I perform with kind of sort of one of one of the main memories that I have from my short time as an artist man Pee Wee Longway was arrested uh on some type of federal situation gang drugs uh guns all that is involved man this is unfortunate man this is a super talented dude a veteran in the hip-hop industry a legend in Atlanta and y'all know something that I was thinking about, man. This is probably going to get him more publicity outside of the South than he's ever had, man. And this is just, this is crazy. This, this is uh, upset, man. But let's take a look and see specifically what's going on with Pee Wee Longway, man. Right here, we got pictures we see. 496 pounds of methamphetamine. That's $22 million worth of meth. Cocaine, $5 million worth of coke. $700,000 worth of fentanyl, 7.1 kilos. 55,000 pounds of marijuana, man. Golly. $130,000 worth of heroin ghb 5.9 pounds 755.8 grams of mushrooms man that's crazy this is crazy man um this is insane man this is a lot of shit now they're not saying pb longway had all this obviously he ain't have all this um and this is over 200 million dollars of drugs seized in a multi-agency multi operation. So this is all of the things that were seized from multiple members of this gang. Muskogee County Sheriff Greg Countryman with federal... Let's take a Muskogee look at County this. Sheriff Greg Countryman with... Muskogee County Sheriff Greg Countryman with federal and law partners say Columbus is now safer today. At a news conference this morning, the sheriff, the FBI, the Drug Enforcement Agency, and the Harris and Russell County Sheriff's offices announced 101 arrests and drug and cash. Operation Sweet Silence, conducted Thursday in Columbus and beyond. It started as a Muskogee County Sheriff's Office investigation two years ago. The target was criminal street gangs right here in the Fountain City, primarily the Zohannans and the Crips. When the operation started early Thursday morning, multiple federal, local, and state agencies on the ground were here in Columbus. The FBI brought in about 250 agents and analysts. Included in that number were seven SWAT teams to assist in the apprehension of suspects considered armed and dangerous. Among the items seized Thursday included 155 guns and 490 96 pounds of methamphetamine with a street value of $22.4 million. Muskogee County Sheriff Greg Countryman says stopping and, and disrupting the gang activity right here in Columbus is a top priority. He also issued this warning to gang members. If you're involved in criminal activity, I want to send this message to you. Just because your name was not called in the arrest yesterday, I don't want you to relax. I don't want you to breathe a breath of, of uh, fresh air, a sigh of relief, because our work is not done. Just because you were not arrested does not mean that we're not looking at you. So don't get too comfortable because our work is not finished. Countrymen and others say this is an ongoing operation and could lead to additional arrests right there. Well, coming up. All right, man, that's crazy. That's unfortunate, man. You know, somebody like Pee Wee Longway, man. Um, with federal damn, it's, it's crazy. You know, it's, it's just unfortunate because this is somebody with the talent they really don't have to be doing shit like this, man. You know, it's easy for me to say that. I'm not in the situation that he was in, but it's just unfortunate, man. This is one of the better rappers, you know what I'm saying, that we have in the game. This is somebody who they skills have continuously gotten better, you know what I'm saying? And to see this, man, it's unfortunate because he was, he was you know, with time, he was becoming a better and better rapper. He was already elite. You know what I'm saying? He was an elite rapper, regardless of what people say. If you really listen to his music, you would know the way he put together words, his flow, his style. It was A1, man. It was A1. And he was arrested with 
a hundred other people, 279 million in drugs seized in Operation Sweet, si Sweet Silence in Muskogee County. I think that's in Columbus. Um, if I'm not mistaken, now I seen no jumper. They had a good uh. They had a good little write up on it. And we're gonna check that out real quick, man. This is crazy though, man. This is this is real unfortunate. This is real unfortunate. One of 31 people arrested after the Fed seized more than 200 million worth of drugs. Tonight, 31 people are now behind bars in Operation Sweet Silence by the Muskogee County Sheriff's Office, FBI, and the DEA. And nearly 20 of those arrested are facing federal charges. According to Sheriff Greg Countryman, his office has been investigating gangs and criminal gang enterprises in the Fountain City. Of those arrested, 19 are validated gang members and face drug trafficking charges. That's according to the sheriff. The other individuals were arrested on state charges as part of the ongoing investigation. Additional charges are pending, we're told. The arrests are part of the heavy police presence seen across the Fountain City today. A full list of those arrested and their charges will be posted on our website. This just into our newsroom tonight. All right, man. So what what P we got to do? And, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a legal expert or anything like that. But if he's not one of the people who is considered a certified gang member, which we hope he was just rapping, we hope that they don't have the evidence um, to prove that then he may have the resources to get up out of this. You know what I'm saying? He may have the resources to get up out of this. But if he, you know, the people who are stamped as gang members, they might be in trouble. They might be in some long-term trouble. Again, Pee Wee Longway got more resources than the average person. He definitely got more resources than the average criminal. The average criminal is poor. If you look up the statistics, you know, Instagram, you, you wouldn't believe that by looking at Instagram. Everybody on Instagram is rich. Everybody who traps and who does fraud and scam on Instagram, all of them look rich, but a lot of these people are just regular people. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not, I, now I don't think that's the case with PV Lawway, but the average, the average criminal is poor. I don't think that's the case for him. You know what I'm saying? And he, he got rich friends. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm seeing a lot of things that he done in the past. I think I seen an article saying that he introduced Migos to QC, that he uh, introduced uh, Thug to Gucci. So he got people who don't want to see him locked up. He has resources. He, you know, it's people out there with money who, who don't want to see him locked up. So he could get a big time lawyer, man, as long as he's not one of the certified gang members, man. And we hope he's not. Uh, let's take a listen to this. The DEA, we did just that. We also had the help of our partnering agencies to help us in this effort. On yesterday, with the help of our federal partners, state partners and county partners, we arrested a total of 31 individuals members of the Zohanan gang and member of the Crips. 19 of those individuals um, were um, arrested on the federal level. Thomas Hobbs once said, the law is not to frighten the good, but to keep the bad in awe. Today, the bad guys who had the emboldened audacity to try to take over uh, Muskogee County thought that they were above the law and untouchable county with the help of the fbi and the dea we did just that we also had man that's crazy man and y'all can see right there all of the drugs that so we don't know the status of them right now they're, they're not cool or um this is this is this is messed up man you know what i'm saying um hopefully he get up out of this though hopefully he get up out of this he find a way to get back on the streets he find a way to overcome this because we y'all we know how the feds get down especially with rappers only a few rappers have beat the feds usually when the feds want you they get some type of time at you 
I hope that's not the case here. We just seen Rallo's situation. You know what I'm saying? He was sentenced to eight years. He did like five and some change, five and seven months, five and eight months, or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, man, hopefully he can just beat this. Hopefully Pee Wee Longway can just beat this. This is somebody who went, you know, he went viral um, on DJ Vlad for not, for not telling, not giving information. Let me not say not telling, but not divulging too much information. Not divulging too much information on Vlad. Um, Vlad was trying to ask him about his gang affiliations and you know things of that nature, and he he didn't give him the type of information that you know Vlad usually gets out of people. So hopefully he keep that demeanor and he keep that attitude, and uh, you know he get a good lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Because when you when you dealing with the feds, man, that's really the only thing that you have. Because they not gonna make no mistakes like how the state police do or you know what I'm saying they're not gonna shoot themselves in the foot this is a this is an operation that um they said was going on for over two years so you know we gotta wait for more information to come out I will stay updated on the story this being one of my favorite rappers man um and this this is this is this is bad for hip hop in my opinion now and of course you know it, no, it, it's not cool when anybody go to jail. You know, obviously his family, um, and his friends, and the people his inner circle are the most affected. But Pee Wee Longway is somebody who, in my opinion, when it came to trap rap, he put pressure on niggas to actually rap. Like he was the type of nigga that, and and, and even Money Man had said it. Like he was like when it came to, and Money Man got a mixtape with him, great mixtape. Money Man even said it. He was like, Pee Wee it was the only nigga that like gave me trouble in the booth. Like that nigga was, I would go in the booth, and that nigga would go in the booth, and I would, I would be kind of like questioning, you know what I'm saying, my shit. Like I would be questioning, um, the quality of my shit after hearing him. And he's that, you know, he's that type of dude. You know, he talk about the streets, and you know. If you listen to one or two songs, you you would even you would even kind of think he a mumble rapper, but he not. When you listen, when you slow it down and you listen, cause you know the way he talk, a lot of people can't even understand what he's saying. But when you listen to what he's saying, you listen to his lyrics, you like, damn, this nigga is not only rapping for real, but he rapping at a high level, man. And just from an artistic standpoint, obviously his family and his friends and the people who personally know him. There, you know, they took a loss with him not being on the streets. But from me as a fan and from a hip hop standpoint, he 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 was he was making niggas actually rap. All these niggas who was coming in here trying to mumble and shit, you couldn't do that on a track with him. You would sound whack. I'm just I'm keeping it real. If you was trying to get on the record with him and mumble, you know what I'm saying? Cat, hat, dog, frog. You couldn't do that with a nigga like Pee Wee Longway. You your your verse would, would it would just not sound good. You know what I'm saying? So, um, positive positive thoughts out to him. Well wishes to him. I hope he get through this, man. Pee Wee Longway arrested on a gang indictment. Two hundred million dollars worth of drugs seized in the streets of Columbus, Georgia. I'm gonna keep y'all up to date on this. Up to date on this, man. Urban artificial intelligence, strategic thinking media platform. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.